Hello once again everyone, Monkey Dude 22 here as a part of the Xbox Ambassadors program. In today's video I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do some basic network tests on the Xbox 360 console and when you may need to contact your internet service provider if you're having any sort of slow speed or other connectivity issues. So let's go ahead and jump right on into it. First you're going to need to go ahead and boot up your Xbox 360 console and navigate to settings. Once the console is booted up, what we need to do is scroll all the way over to the right here to the settings tab. And then we're going to go ahead and press A on system. Then in the system settings, you want to hit A on network settings and select your wired or wireless network. We're using a wired connection, so the next screen we want to go ahead and test the Xbox Live connection yet. If you have any profiles signed in, go ahead and say yes to sign them out. This test is going to then let us know if we have any connection issues to either Xbox Live or the internet service provider. And looks like we're good to go with this test and the live status is good. Let's go ahead and run the network statistics test next. Now your console is going to run a few tests and bring back some results. Uh, patience is key here, so sometimes this can take a few seconds, uh, sometimes up to a minute, depending on how fast your connection is. All right, as you can see, we have some good network stats coming in here. Looks like we have a good connection to the network as well as the internet. Our console's latency is at 25 milliseconds, and essentially this is how long it takes in milliseconds for the consoles to send data to a server and then circle back to the console. Uh, looks like our packet loss is at 0%, which is fantastic. Basically, this is exactly what we want to see on the console because it means that there is no data loss on the connection. Thus, we shouldn't see any kind of random disconnection problems. Our upload speed is at 10.29 megabits per second, which equals it to about 1.2 megabytes per second. And our download speed is roughly 30 megabits per second, which is about 4 megabytes. So now that we have the stats on the console, let's go ahead and review the Xbox Live recommended stats and compare. So latency or ping, as some would call it, is recommended to have this test out at below 150 milliseconds. Anything above, and you might see some network lag in multiplayer games or slow performance in other apps. Uh, we're good to go with the 25 millisecond connection here. 0% packet loss is ideal as well. Anytime you're seeing anything above 0% packet loss, you want to do some sort of troubleshooting to resolve that. And I'll place a link in the description with some additional troubleshooting steps to help. The upload speed is recommended to be at 0.5 megabit per second to which we have 10.29 megabit per second, so that's looking good here. The download speed is recommended to be at three megabits per second, and with our 30 megabit, we should be just fine there as well. So we're good here on this console, but what happens if you're not seeing the recommended stats on your console? Well, some great troubleshooting steps to try would be first, try to power cycle or hard reset the console. You do just by just turning it off and on. You want to usually try this with the modem and router as well. Sometimes just a fresh connection can help everything out. Second thing you want to try, check support.xbox.com and make sure all the Xbox Live services are running specifically. Third, simplify the connection to see if the issue persists. So basically, what I mean is if you're using both a modem, a router, and maybe a switch, try to remove those devices out and just connect directly to the modem with the Ethernet connection. Sometimes you can find out what other pieces of hardware might be causing some problems with that. Fourth step, check other devices in the house, whether it be a cell phone, laptop, or other kind of handheld device. If you're seeing a common issue with download speeds across all devices, you know there might be a problem with the connection. And speaking of which, fifth step, attempt to check for outage issues with your internet provider. Contact them directly if you need to. Sometimes they have the information available on their website. Other times, if you call in, they'll have an automated recording message letting you know about any sort of issues. So those are some great tips and steps to help you out with troubleshooting your connection problems on Xbox 360 when you might need to contact your internet service provider to resolve any of those issues as well. I'm MonkeyDo22 with the Xbox Ambassadors program. If you'd like to learn more about us, ambassadors.xbox.com. You can earn some experience, earn some great rewards, help out your fellow gamers at the same time. Have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you on Xbox Live.